Hey guys, Deterian here back with another Last Epoch video. So online, I've been seeing a lot of Sentinel builds pushing high corruptions, but one thing that I noticed is that they're all stacking ridiculous amounts of wood. Now, I'm not sure if this is a bug or not. If you do know, let me know in the comments down below, but this is how they're stacking an insane amount of wood. So it's done with one affix and two skill nodes, and it involves healing hands, and it involves using this affix it's an experimental affix which is x amount x percentage of your current health is lost per second uh, but to compensate six percent of your missing health is gained as ward per second so this is a very common affix that you can get as an experimental affix on sentinel specifically this is how you're stacking ridiculous amounts of ward so in your healing hand skill tree you have this node called divine barrier what divine barrier does is healing hands will grant ward if an ally has an effect that causes them to gain ward per second based on their missing health, then their healing hands is converted to ward. So when I heal myself, you can see I gained a large amount of ward and I'm getting quite a, a lot of healing as well. Every time I cast healing hands, I get ridiculous amounts of ward. If you can stack this very quickly, so you can see here I'm casting healing hands on myself. You can see here that I'm getting quite a lot of ward. I'm actually, I have more ward that I'm getting than I have health. Now, one very important node on this, on healing hands is this one, urgent healing. So this adds additional upfront healing to your character. So if you stack up to four, you're gonna get 140 healing on your character. Now, I think how this works is if you have healing effectiveness, on your character as well. This will increase the amount of healing this does. So if I now apply healing hands on myself, you can see I get quite a lot of healing on, on my character and that turns into ward. Now, as I'm casting, it tops up and overheals as ward. So you can see that I'm getting about 6,000 health on top of my 2,000 health. And that's a ridiculous amount of ward. So if you can increase the cast speed, then your healing will be much greater. So I'm going for a smite based build. Now with my smite based build, it's purely based on cast speed. If I do a monolith, I'm, I'm just on uh, 190. Now I'm gonna be using a smite based build. This smite based build will cast healing hands. So I can cast healing hands uh, smite at long range, but that won't actually heal me. So I wanna heal, um, I want to cast smite in melee range so that I can take advantage of the fact that I can heal. Now that you can see here as I'm damaging these characters, my health is going up quite a lot. And this is how you're able to maintain a lot of health due to how much ward you're getting. Essentially you're getting double, triple, maybe even quadruple the amount of sustain that you have. Essentially the amount of effective health you have makes you almost invulnerable in some cases. Even if you, if, if you can stack your attack speed high enough or cast speed high enough. Uh, so I was, I'm assuming if you go for like a melee based build, your melee based build will be centered on melee attack speed. If you can get melee attack speed with the healing hands node that casts healing hands in melee range uh, and do an insane amount of attack speed, I'm assuming this particular ward interaction will be insanely strong again if this is a bug let me know i'm not in favor of exploiting any bugs or anything like that and i do believe if it is a nerf ehg will recognize this and nerf this at some point even with the amount of ward that we're getting it's pretty damn insane there's no way this will stay in the game because we're just like quadrupling the amount of life and survivability that we have it shouldn't be possible with a life-based build to push thousands of corruption tiers just based on how the game works at this point. So again, if it's a bug, let me know in the description down below. I'm not in favor of exploiting it if it is a bug. If it's intentional and not a bug, by all means, use it. But I do believe, just as how ridiculous this is, that this will get nerfed at some point. And now we'll just fight the Shade of Orobus. So basically I'm just going to face tank 
uh, the Shade of Aurobus. I'm not even going to kill any of his minions or anything like that. You can see at 193 Corruption, uh, I could do this at 200 Corruption too. I have 10,000 Ward. So this is like an insane interaction here. You can see we've got the Gloves, which gives us the Affix, along with uh, our Healing Hands. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I can just face tank all the damage. And basically this insane ward interaction is quite fine, to be honest. We just have four times the amount of survivability than normal. I just wanted to point that out very quickly. As always, have an awesome day. Bye for now.